Front row MMA here at Cage Warrior 62, the Metro Radio Arena in Newcastle with the winner of the sixth fight of the night and possibly KO of the night so far, Martin Sheridan. Martin, you've got to be over the moon with that finish. Yeah, as I was just saying to you off camera there, that's, that's my best victory. Yeah, I was, Jordan's ranked number 15 in the UK. He's just fought five rounds for a world title. And to finish him in the first round with a big KO like that is, is amazing. Well, let's be honest, we, we, we can't hold the fact that the first half of that round wasn't going your way at all. What, what, when did the change happen? When he went for that transition and you kind of, when he had your back and you you put, peeled off the leg and reversed him? Yeah, pretty much. I, like straight away when he got the clinch in the first in the first uh, clinch against the cage, he didn't feel really strong until he hit the ground. Then he felt real tight. And as you said, I got I got in. I was never in trouble, but I wasn't in good positions. And then I, I knew as long as I got back up, I'd, I'd have a chance. And I'm pretty decent on my knees, so I was just looking for that knee. You know, the, again, there was a point where he, he had the top position. He threw a couple of couple of big elbows, just glancing. They looked. Oh, one, of, one of them, sorry, one of them did hit, but it, it, yeah, I've been elbowed before. It's not. This is an elbow. Isn't it? And then, can you talk us through the knee? Was it was that just a matter of instinct, or did you see the opening and? Then, React. It, it, it was as I said in the cage there. I, I knew he was going to change for that side, so we were working it in the back with my coach Stephen Tom, just to turn and get the knee up, and that's what happened. And it timed perfectly. I seen him go down. I, I didn't want to follow up because I seen him go down pretty hard. Uh, you know, you, the, the, they mentioned in the cage. Obviously, you, you know, you've had a very busy year. The last fight we saw, a fight UK, didn't go your way. How validating is it to to put on a performance like that now? Yeah, it's wicked. I've, as I said in there, I've had I've had three pretty shocking fights this year. I've had one good, two good fights now. But I really feel on my day, as long as I'm I'm present and I'm here, I'm in, I'm with it. I can beat anyone. I really feel that. That's not me being overconfident. I just I know what I can do. These guys know what I can do. I feel I can beat anyone. What was the difference between, you know, this is a sh essentially a short notice fight. It was only three weeks ago we saw you, you we saw you getting in the cage. What, 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 what's the difference up here? Has there been a difference up here in the approach for this fight? Uh, yeah, well, so I've, I've, I'm always confident that I can win any fight, as I said. But for some reason, sometimes I'm not present. I'm not, I don't know, I'm not in the moment. And as I said in there again, I didn't have any time to prepare. Alistair, big up Alistair for sorting me this fight from Vanquish. He, he rang me up like eight days ago and said, you're in half decent shape after fight UK. Do you want the fight? Obviously, look at this place, man. I couldn't turn Cage Warriors down. I love it. I love Cage Warriors. So I couldn't turn it down. I'm just so happy. Are you looking for as busy 2014 as you've had a 2013, or is perhaps you know maybe one fight less, two fights less? As, as much as work will let me, I, I work in a full time in a, a metal fabricating company, and I've used nearly all my holidays. I have two days off every time I fight, so I have to try and work some overtime to get some holidays back, but. As long as, and I've got, I've got to really spend some, some time at home. <laughs> I mean, I'm always at home, but I need to spend some few weekends at home, you know what I mean? There's no point training twice every weekend, every day, and I need to spend time at home. You know, it is the temptation now, though, to, you know, maybe take take that jump maybe a year full time nothing else just train or is that just is that just not financially a feasible option ever that's a dream man that's a dream I'd love it if it's anyone wants to give me some money sponsor. you know what I'm saying killer V5 are these two fucking rolling in it man <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd, lo I'd love to do that I'd, I mean I don't earn much money in my full time job so I wouldn't take that much money to do it you know what I'm saying <laughs> But, yeah, hint, hint, yeah, nudge, yeah. nudge, boys. It's a dream. <laughs> Look, it, it, that was, I mean, it was it was a great performance, and the timing of that, I mean, it's knockout of the night. I don't think it's going to be beaten, not tonight. So hopefully there's a bonus coming yeah, your way as well, Graham. Yeah. You know, <laughs> before we let you go, as usual, we always ask, is there anyone you want to give a shout-out to, anybody you'd like to thank? So many thanks. Um, all the guys are trying with... Uh, Danny Naz, my jiu-jitsu coach at uh, BST MMA, uh, Pat and Nick at Ketron Shoot Fighters, my guys, my family, Shudan, uh, Jeff, Steve, especially Steve, he's helped me out so much with this fight. Tom, they come up all the way from Wellingborough just for this, they drove here and they're going to fuck, they're going to drive back we, home. We encourage they're it. They're going to drive back. the fuck back home, it's a long old way. Hey, join the club, we, we're, we're with you there. Um, Killer B fight where my sponsors, um, everyone at home, Rachel, Taylor, Kira, I love you, my girls. Everyone, who, I've got such a big support network. I mean, they didn't come up to this show. It's the only show they've never been to. Maybe they shouldn't turn up anymore, to be honest. <laughs> but, they can support yeah, you on can, social media. Yeah, they can just yeah, watch, it, watch it online, yeah. But, yeah, all my family, my friends, shoot down family, yeah. Thank you. Martin, you know, I, I, I always enjoy watching you fight. I've never, I've never hidden that fight. You've, you, you've, you've beaten a kid who has great heart and great, you know, great skill. So this is going to put you again firmly on the map. I love watching you fight, mate. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.